Fox family. So I just want to recap real quick. This is what Grand Junction did over the weekend. Uh, we got our second and we got our third day at or above 100 degrees. Both Saturday and Sunday record setting temperatures today. Not the case. We hit 97 degrees at Grand Junction, mid 90s for Rifle Delta, low 90s at Montrose. A little bit uh, warm in the mountain zones too. 80s, Pitkin County, Gunnison County, that's not where you want to be. Uh, we should be right around the 90 degree mark for Grand Junction. We should be right around 85 degrees for Montrose. Now, we're going to go below those numbers tomorrow. That's why you get a license to chill, because we're going to experience less hot temperatures. Getting, <laughs> they're finally laughing at my joke. Getting into Wednesday, we do return. We return to those average temperatures and then the rest of the work week, it's going to be hot. So there's not a lot of fun there, but we do look at our current temperatures right now. We're in the upper 80s, middle and lower 90s. This is how we're ending our Monday. We still have wind in our forecast, folks. We still are going to be dealing with 25 and 30 mile per hour winds, even through the eight, even through the nine, even through the 10 o'clock hour. We could still get a gust up to the 30 mile per hour zone. Now, so far, we've only achieved mid 40s and 45 mile per hour is a respectable top wind gust, but we were under some high wind warnings today, so it could have gotten stronger for us. It has not. I'm thankful. Strong wind gust at Douglas Pass right around 75 miles per hour, right into the I-70 corridor through the Debec Canyon at the Cameo, the tunnel system, right around the 60 mile per hour zone. To the north, mid 50s. To the south, low 50 mile per hour gusts. Just about all regional airports on the western slope picked up about a 45 mile per hour wind gust, and that's supportive of a red flag warning across the area. RFWs, that's what we get. We're going to do this again tomorrow as well. We just won't have the strong winds. We will have the criteria met, dry conditions, mild temperatures, and as far as the wind speeds go, right around the 20 to 30 mile per hour zone. So unfortunately, we will be in the red flag warning again tomorrow. Thankfully, we won't be under a high wind warning or a wind advisory. Now these expire tonight at the 10 and at the 11 o'clock hour and re even right up until then, we're going to have breezy conditions. And I did indicate at least a wind gust coming back around the 30 mile per hour zone. We do have incoming storms. They're mostly to the north and they should kick some outflow boundaries, so we should get some gusty winds in the next couple of hours. But as a result of this southwest flow today, all ahead of the cold front, uh, we've had the strong winds. We've had the warm temperatures and we've had some dust. Now, the Four Corners region actually had an air quality health advisory uh, courtesy of the Colorado Department of Health. That's due to smoke from the Arizona wildfires getting transported right into the region. We didn't catch any of that smoke, at least not the bulk of it. We did get some dusty conditions. Cold front itself is advancing in, so we have storm activity in the northwest corner of Colorado. Cooler than average temperatures north of the cold front, hotter than average temperatures south of the cold front. Rain showers, eh, I think we're going to be dry, even with the storms. And let's look at on radar in just a moment. You know what? Let's bypass this. We still have breezy conditions tomorrow, but on radar, this is what catches my attention. Cold front you can see just draped across northwest Colorado. I think Rangeley is getting or will be getting rain showers momentarily, and then all this Highway 40 corridor with storms popping up and down, you're going to get some gusty outflow winds. Some of you may even experience some small hail, but with these storms, we could actually feel some of that wind kicking down our direction. Off towards the west, we look upstream. Err. I mean, there's dark clouds, and I think we'll see some of those during the sunset hour. But during the overnight hours after midnight, we clear. We slow the winds down. We're going to clear our skies. So if you want to see that strawberry full moon, you could get out tonight. You've probably already seen it during the course of the weekend leading up to the full moon, which is tomorrow morning. So tomorrow night, you also have another opportunity to see that strawberry. In fact, June, I think we get two full moons this month. So that second one would be a blue moon. Getting into tomorrow morning, these temperature lows right about the average for this time of the year. We're going to have cooler temperature lows on Wednesday morning. And look here, these are the, this is, this was the joke earlier. This is what you get tomorrow afternoon as far as temperatures go. Grand Junction should be closer to 90. Montrose should be closer to the mid 80s. We won't be mountain communities in the 60s and 70s. That is a lot of heat relief. We're going to keep wind in the forecast uh, again. Red flag warning on Tuesday and likely we'll see red flag warning on Friday because another cold front's coming in on Friday. We'll get that southwest flow. We'll warm up. 
Probably Friday will be our fourth 100 degree day because of that southwest flow. Cold front comes through, we get some storms, we get some better rain opportunities. We're going to get a subtropical tap for this, so that's a good source region to get some rain showers, and that'll get transported in on the southwest flow. So we also have cooler temperatures to look forward to this time next week. In the meantime, we do warm up. We get back to the averages on Wednesday. We go hotter for the end of the week. We have wind just about every day, but strongest on Tuesday and stronger on Friday.